Hey everyone, welcome to the next video. In this one, we're going to be taking what we learned in the uh, in the last video, but implementing it in Python. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make a message. It's just going to say, hello world, how are you doing today? And we're going to be taking that string. We're going to be generating a random key and encrypting the string with the key. And then we're going to be decrypting it back to the original message. Um, so we have our message. Uh, the next thing we need is a key, which is going to be empty right now because we're going to uh, actually fill in all these characters in a second. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to be needing the random module. So let's import random. And then we need to make a variable called encryption level. This is how many uh, bits is our key. So let's just do 128. It can be any number you want. Uh, well, it has to be divisible by 8. Uh, but uh, so our key is going to be a bunch of characters. Well, every character is 8 bits. So however many bits it is, we're going to divide it by 8. So this will be a 16 uh, byte key or 128 bits. So that's our encryption level. The next thing I need to do is I need a pool of characters to pull from. Um, like what characters are going to be allowed in this key. I'm just going to do every possible value you could generate uh, between 0 and 255, so every 8-bit possible combination. Um, so we can make a variable called uh, character pool. Yeah, we'll name it character pool. And we'll do for i in range uh, 0x00 to 0x255. So everything within 8 bits, we're going to do every possible combination of it. So do character pool plus equals the character representation of i. Um, make sure this works. So we'll do print character pool. Okay, so you'll see here at the bottom. Um, all these little, this is every every single ASCII character between 0 and 255. So the first couple are just like, uh, they're, they're gibberish characters. They don't mean anything. They're just squares. Um, and then there's a, there's a character that's a new line, which is why it breaks down to here with a few more squares. And then you get to the ones you're familiar with, all these characters right here that are on the keyboard. And then we get to some other uh, unknown characters. And then all this right here is a bunch of weird you know, characters that you can use for whatever reason. But so th this is just all the ASCII characters that between zero and uh, 255. So that works. So now what we need to do is generate our key. So let's go ahead and bring this down here. Um, so let's do four I in range encryption level because we're uh, wanting our key to be 128 bits or 16 bytes or 16 characters we're wanting to do this 16 times so for i in range 16 and we'll do key plus equals random dot choice uh, and we'll pull from that character pool so let's make sure this works let's print our key out so yeah, there's our key right there. It's 16 characters long and it's just a bunch of gibberish. And if we keep running it, it's different every time. So great, now we have our key and our message. So let's go ahead and start encrypting it. So the way this works, it's gonna loop through every character in our message. So we'll start with H. It's gonna grab the H and then it's gonna grab the first character in our key and take the, the binary of both of those and XOR them and it generates uh, an en encrypted character, whatever that character happens to be. And it just does that through each one. So it'll grab the E, whoops. It'll grab the E next, and then it'll grab the second character in our key and do the same thing and so on and so forth. Now I only have 16 characters in my key. And I obviously have more characters than that in my uh, message here. So what happens when it gets to the 16th character in the key, on the 17th it needs to know to loop back to zero. So in order to keep track of that, I need to make some variables that uh, store like index values. So we'll make key index, it'll equal zero. And max key index will equal, um, so key index zero is like the current one we're working on. So we're starting at zero. Max key index is kind of a variable that's gonna store the end of it to where it knows to loop back around. So that's gonna be uh, 
the length of encryption, no, not length of encryption level. Um, that will be uh, encryption level minus one uh, because the f encryption level is 16 and if I subtract one that's 15 and the 15th element of the string is the 16th character, if that makes sense. Uh, so let's go ahead and start encrypting it. So we'll do four character in message. Uh, we'll do, actually, I need to do one thing. Let's make a variable here called encrypted message, and it's empty right now. But we'll do four character in message. Encrypted character is going to equal the ordinal of that character, XORed with the ordinal of the key, and we want that particular key index. Um, so let me explain what this is doing. So for character and message, so if we go to the top, it's grabbing that H. It's throwing it right here. So, hey, with that H, I want you to do this. I want you to make a variable called encrypted character, and we're going to grab the ordinal of H. So uh, if you're not familiar with the ordinal function in Python, it takes a string, or it takes a character and returns the uh, integer ASCII value of it. So I don't know what H is, but let's just say it takes an H and then it throws the number 73 right here. And now that we have an integer, we can XOR two integers. So we get the ordinal of H, and we also get the ordinal of our key at the key index, which is zero. So we have our random key that we generated, and we're grabbing the first character in that. So we're XORing the first character of our message, first character of our, uh, of our key. Now that we've uh, encrypted it, we'll do encrypted message plus equals uh, encrypted character. Uh, but remember this, since I turned these into integers, um, we, we don't want to add an integer to the message. We want to convert it back to a, uh, a character. So let's go ahead and chr that. Um, because if I just did plus equals encrypted character, it would add an, it would add a number to it. It's not a number; it's a character. So we got to convert it back to a character. So that's what chr is for. Uh, once we do that, we need to check where we're at on our current key index because if we're all the way at the end, we need to reset back to zero. So if key index is greater than or equal to max key index, so if it's at the end, then just reset it back to zero. Else increment it by one. So now if we print uh, encrypted message, let's actually do this. Let's uh, Once we make our message, we'll print the message and then um, yeah, that should be all we need to do. So we're going to print the message at the beginning and then we'll, we'll print the encrypted message. Let's go ahead and run that. So there we go. I got hello world. How are you doing today? And then there is our encrypted gibberish right there. So if we keep doing it over and over again, that gibberish is always different. Um, so now what we need to do is let's go ahead and decrypt it. So if we, we kind of just do the same thing, but uh, it just reverses it. So let's reset our key index back to zero just in case it wasn't at zero right there. Um, we'll do decrypted message. And we'll do four character in encrypted message. Decrypted character equals the ordinal of the character. XOR with the ordinal of the key at the key index. And then we'll do decrypted message plus equals the character of the decrypted character. And then we can just copy and paste this uh, little incrementer right here for the, the key index. And we'll print our decrypted message. Um, let's format some of this real quick. I'm a big fan of the uh, format strings in Python. Uh, make this say original message. Um, Oh, I'm missing a quote. I was like, why is there, why is all this uh, red on my screen?
And we'll do the encrypted message. And decrypted message. All right. So again, uh, well, let's make sure it works first. Yeah, so original message, hello world, how are you doing today? Encrypted message, there's all our gibberish. And decrypted message, we decrypted it back. And let's just run it a few more times to make sure that that encrypted message is different every time. And it looks like it is. Um, so let's just kind of go back over that. So we're making our original message, printing it to the screen. Our encryption level is 128 uh, divided by 8. Um, because every character is 8 bits, so uh, we want to divide that by 8. Um, we need to make a list of characters to pull from, so that's why I came up with character pool. And this is the little loop that fills up our character pool. So for every possible 8-bit value, it throws that in our character pool. So we get every possible ASCII value plus a bunch of ones that are just gibberish and don't exist. Um, then the next thing we do is generate our key. So for I in range, uh, whatever the encryption level is, which was uh, 16 bytes, we go ahead and grab a random character from the character pool and uh, append that to our key string. So that's what generates our key or our password. I, I tend to say password sometimes, but it's, it's a key. Um, then what we do is we go ahead and encrypt our message. We grab every character uh, from the message and we, we XOR that character whatever its uh, binary value is, we XOR it with the uh, current key index, the current uh, character in our key. So this will the first time through it'll grab um, whatever the first character in our key is, the second time through it'll grab the second character, third time through it'll grab the third character. Um, and then whatever that character turns out to be, it just appends it to our encrypted message. And this whole block of code is just making sure that once we get to the end of the key, we loop back around to the beginning of the key and start the process over again. Um, and it's the exact same thing for decrypting it. You just do it again with the, um, with the key and the encrypted message, and it reverses it. Um, so I hope that made sense. Um, I do want to stress that this is not secure encryption. This is just like the basics of how... I'm pretty sure most all encryption works. This is like the fundamental, you know, XORing uh, two two bits together is kind of like the basis of all encryption. But uh, this isn't. This is just using XOR encryption. A lot of stuff like AES will um, it'll do this, but then it also knows to shuffle all the bytes around and re-encrypt it and shuffle them all around again. And it's it's really. Uh, there's a lot more layers to it than just this, but I think it's good to practice this just so you understand uh, how it works. Um, when we make our ransomware program, um, we pro will probably be using AES uh, just because it's it's more secure than um, than this. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Hopefully this made sense, and I'll see you guys in the next one.